Okay, um, this time we're going to talk about a 2D matrix. A lot of people need to put a barcode on their part, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Edit and Tool. And this time we're going to type F4, which is 2D matrix. And it's very similar. I can type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can put in percent %Y again. Um, I can put in percent %1 equals... And what that means is, hey, whatever's in line one, I'm just going to do that. Whatever's in line one, I want to be in the, the barcode. And that way you can write to line one, and then it can be put in the barcode. Um, the same thing here, you can jog it around. <clears throat> and you can say, hey, you know what, I want this piece to be 10.1, 17.7. Again, the way you hit the jog is um, on the keyboard in the bottom right, there's a key that's got four arrows. When you hit that, you go to this screen called Jog Accept. You just called out a point of 10.117.7, and I want to make this my center middle point. And if you wanted to put an angle of 90 degrees, you could do that, that type of thing. I'm not going to do that right now. So... That's the first piece. Um, if I hit the page down, and again, the page down is a key on the right side of the keyboard. It's a page with an arrow down. It's going to say what format. And the format's going to be either alphanumeric or um, ASCII, 8-bit, or just numeric. Typically, alphanumeric plus means it's the alphabet and the numbers and there's extra characters. If you just want numeric, you do numeric. So the method of sizing, of creating this, is by either using the spacing, which the spacing here is at 0.5, so that means your, your dots are going to be 0.5 apart. Or if I hit Enter, I can do size, which means I'm going to type in 10 millimeters. So if I hit size here, that means that I'm going to default to the size of the matrix is going to be 10 millimeters. That's the height and the width. If I do spacing, it's going to say, hey, I want this spacing to have every half millimeter. So it's one or the other. Um, I typically like size because I can control the size. And what you're going to want is when you lay the dots, you don't want the dots touching, but you want them close to touching. Um, so if I go down here and I can do the code, what is the code? It can be square or I can call out different rectangles. So this is a 12 by 26. That means 12 rows by 26. If I do square, let me just go back to square. I go down here and I can do an automatic, which means it'll automatically choose how many rows and columns, or I can force it to be a 10 by 10. So that means I'm gonna have 10 rows and 10 columns of dots that are 10 millimeters high. That means that I'm gonna have a dot every millimeter. If I do 14 by 14, that means I'm going to have 14 rows and 14 columns, and they're all going to fit in that 10 millimeter. So the reason you would choose 14 by 14 is you get to put more data as that matrix gets bigger. A 10 by 10 matrix might be able to do eight characters. A 14 by 14 might be able to do 16 characters. And a 16 by 16 may be able to do 24 characters. So based on how many characters you need, you got to change this. Or if you go to auto, and I'm going to go wrap all the way around. If I go back to auto, it'll choose for you. The detriment there is that if you go from 8 digits to 12 digits, your code is going to automatically go from a 10 by 10 to a different rows and columns. Typically, you want to lock this at some piece. Um, I'm going to go down, and we can mark bidirectional, which means we mark to the right, then we mark back to the left. Um, or, and I can turn that on and off. An overshoot means that when I'm done with the dot, how many, how many pulses pass do I want to go? And here's my speed rate. And again, because we have greater than, less than here, you can see I just hit the Enter key, and I can type in how fast my speed rate is. Um, I'm going to hit down again, and you've got your same title and your, you know, stuff, and the tool is usable. If you can see on this guy, I've got this arrow here, and that arrow indicates that there's more pages, okay? 
So that's how you would do a 2D matrix. Now if I hit print, there's the alphanumeric, and you can hear it going and doing the 2D matrix. And that's pretty much how you would set that up. Now I'm going to go back and when it's done, change my level to operator. And you can see that my text and my 2D matrix have the exact same piece in it because if I go into my level and I go back to supervisor, there is none. I've got a percent one equals. So whatever's in line one is going to be in the data matrix.